Good afternoon and welcome to Houston Real Estate Today. I'm your host, Steve Levine, publisher of Real Estate Executive and Builder Architect Magazines. And it's my pleasure to host this show each and every week. And do we have a lineup today? I'm telling you, we, the room's full of all ages from 11 to 21. They're all in here today. <laughs> We've got a great show coming up. And we like to put together the most informative hour of great real estate information provided by great guests. And I've got some amazing guests today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the use of real estate market today. When do you need a realtor? Good question. Some just, uh, disclosure laws. Some buying on short sale, some brand new technology for that's really, really doing some great work for home buyers and for for uh, listing agents. And we're going to hear about that, that. And we're going to catch up with Royce Builders, my friend Rochelle Barrow from Royce Builders, on for the sixth time today. All I have to do is call and say, Rochelle, would you like, and I don't even get it out. <coughs> it's like I could get her to answer that in two notes. Would you? And then yes, it's always yes. <laughs> So we have a great lineup today. Sandy Lane with REMAX Northwest, REMAX Hall of Fame agent, and REMAX Lifetime Achievement Award winner. She and daughter Tamala, also on the show with REMAX Northwest. Sometimes they claim each other, sometimes not. They are, uh, we're on the cover of the Real Estate Executive Magazine in May of 2007. And they're two very different women, two very different uh, uh, thoughts on, on real estate, how they work together. The name of the article for the magazine was Like Mother, Like Daughter, You Decide. Very much alike and very different. And uh, please have both on the show. And we have Mr. Chris Cook with Wham Mobile representing some amazing technology to help uh, home buyers and listing agents. You know, the faster you can get and the better you can get information right to the consumer, the easier it is to uh, make the transaction happen. And we'll catch up with Rochelle Barrow with Royce Builders. My lovely co-host today <coughs> is Ms. Shelby Waltz, 11-year-old. And uh, she's a third, going to be a third-generation real estate agent. We don't know. But Tamla might have to ask her to interview for that position, just like everybody else, and she had to. We'll talk about that in uh, just a few minutes. But let's start out with uh, Sandy Lane, no stranger radio. Been on the show with me before, so a couple months ago. Sandy Lane is an amazing, amazing real estate agent. Say, Remax Hall of Fame, Remax Lifetime Achievement Award winner. 21 years of excellence in real estate, which means she started her career in the third grade. <laughs> and she has extensive education, many areas of real estate, from, uh, from appraisals, law, marketing, short sales, advertising, photography, staging, and negotiating, which places her way above the crowd. The key to any business is the, uh, is the knowledge you bring to the table, I and mean, you continually uh, update that information and education, the stronger you're going to be, the better you'll be able to take care of your, your clients. Sandy and her office manager of 16 years, Kathy, who's also the mayor of Sandy Land, that's a joke for you, Kathy and I, <laughs> uh, has, uh, they really put the clients first and do a terrific job. So it's a great experience. It leaves our clients feeling very confident to refer Sandy to their family, friends, co-workers, and know they'll get the same level of care. So Sandy Lane, welcome to the show. Thank you, Steve. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you here. How did you get started in real estate? I didn't know when we said the third grade, but <laughs> how did you get started in real estate, Sandy? Well, actually, uh, I was living in uh, Clear Lake with uh, my husband, Jerry, and we were getting ready to sell a house to move on, being transferred, and the agents came through our house with a walkthrough, and I was very impress impressionable in those days, and so I, I remember seeing all of the agents walking through and thought they were very classy looking, and they all drove very nice cars, and I was very impressed with all of them, and so when we got to Oklahoma City, I decided to go to college and sit for my state exam, which is when I was a rookie. Ah, now you were, weren't you a teacher at that time, teaching music or dance or some such? I was, in Clear Lake, I had a dance studio. That's right, I remember that part of the, the interview. Well, that's great, and you showed your license in Oklahoma first, and then came to Texas. Correct. And uh, went to Champion School of Real Estate. Uh, I did, and uh, also North Harris County Wonderful. College. And uh, you've been in business for over 20 years, 20 years of satisfied clients. But what's your take on the Houston real estate market? Always my favorite question and the, the name of the show. 
Absolutely. Um, this year has been a bit different, I might add, that um, it's, it's not as, um, uh, I guess, um, it's just different, is all I can say. Okay. <laughs> I apologize for that. You kind of caught me off guard. But uh, yes, it is It is positive, and yes, we are selling homes, but again, I'm finding that the ones that are staged, very clean and tidy, are the ones that are moving, because there's a lot on the market. Right. So we've got great inventory provided by resales and by new home builders like Royce Builders. Correct. Great job. And uh, just, can someone do uh, buy a home without using a realtor? Oh, absolutely. Um, they, uh, they can do that. Um, certainly wouldn't be my recommendation simply because I feel that every buyer uh, needs representation and uh, it doesn't cost them anything to use a professional. How about their building a new home? That would be true as well. Um, uh, I know if I were to bring someone into Royce, who is a great builder, by the way, um, they have uh, they certainly appreciate having uh, an agent representing that buyer as the representative in the office usually represents the builder. Absolutely. And uh, you do a, you can do an extensive search for them. I think they might want one area or one particular elevation, but uh, using a realtor opens up a whole world of, of information on, uh, on the home builders and the communities they build in and price ranges. So it's more advantageous for them to use the use a realtor, isn't it? It would be because I have, uh, what I normally do is do the research within the neighborhood they're interested in, uh, checking back to see uh, what the home sold for per square foot, also checking to see if the builder had any contributions towards the buyer's closing cost or uh, owner's title policy so that I can obviously get that or more for uh, the person that I'm representing. So really it's in this, it's uh using an expert to help you make sure you got the right home you're building or having built for you. Now let's talk about the other side of the transaction, that seller transaction. A lot of people think, gee, I bought a home, I can sell one on my own. Mm -hmm. uh, why use a realtor for, to sell your home? Well, most of the time, uh, a realtor will get you more money uh, for the property than you would if you listed it yourself. All right. And um, let's show you re resale homes. Pardon? What about uh, showing resale homes? Um, well, we have a, a centralized booking service that actually calls our homeowners. Uh, they let them know what time the realtor is coming, usually within a two-hour span. And, and we also verify that that person, or at least they do, is a licensed agent in the Houston market. So you have no strangers coming through, and they are accompanied by a licensed agent. Um, therefore, you know who's entering your home at all times, and you have no strangers casing out the place. Exactly. <laughs> you don't realize what a risk it is, what a security risk, when you try to sell a home on your own, because you don't know who's coming to the door. And I remember a story, not to freak out those trying to sell their home right now on their own, but uh, somebody that, uh, like a supposedly a grandfather and, and granddaughter combination where he couldn't go up the stairs, and so the realtor would go upstairs with the, with the, the younger woman and look around, and he was casing out the place and leaving the doors unlocked or find out what wasn't secure. So, mm -hmm. so it's always best to have somebody and have a, that has a system and so he's not a security security risk, a big risk. Now you've got some great listings, don't you? I do. I have some fabulous listings. Some of the best I've ever had uh, on the market in my career. Well, tell us about a couple of them. Well, currently we have one in Champion Center Estates, which is outstanding. Um, it's listed for 3749, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been totally painted inside uh, with designer paint. All hardwoods have been refinished, mm -hmm. and uh, just a magnificent home. All new carpet, just beautiful. Uh, would love to have uh, an opportunity to show that to some of the folks. Okay. And uh, any other great listings you want to talk about? Uh, yes, I have another one in uh, Memorial Northwest. Um, again, a huge two-story entry, both formals, family room, um, um, game room or media room on the upper level, master down, just a fabulous property. Uh, love an opportunity for people to, I'd, I'd welcome into Memorial Northwest as well because that's where I live. What's the advantage of using Sandy Lane as a listing agent? Well, because Sandy Lane advertises. She's very much uh, 
very much uh, oriented towards service and pleasing the customer, if it's my seller that I'm representing. Um, I feel that uh, there's a lot of us to choose from, and so only maybe, and I hate to say this, but only about 10% of us are great at what we do. And I feel that I'm one of those folks, and uh, so you get personal attention. Uh, you get to ch chat with me personally any time of the day or night, seven days a week. So I feel that uh, you have an advantage if you've chosen me. Absolutely, and you do a lot of advertising. You know, you have your own website, plus you're on uh, like HAR.com and, mm -hmm. and I assume Remax.com, other places they can find you in your listings. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Well, tell me, um, I'm going to segue from the home buyer, home seller to uh, how do you how do you qualify a buyer? Normally, I have uh, a list of about 12 lenders that I've worked with in the past that are excellent at what they do. They're senior loan officers. And I usually share that list with my potential buyers okay. so that they can shop interest rates as well as finding the right person, whether it be male or female, younger or older, uh, loan officer. And, and I want them to choose not, not so much the interest rate as, as I would have them choose someone that uh, they feel comfortable with because I think the transaction, including the loan officer, the closers, uh, everybody should work together to have a great transaction. It's so important these days to have strong alliances with mortgage companies and to the buyer should find that loan before they, they look for the home. Is that true? To make sure the, the money's going to be at the closing table the same time they are. That's correct. And you're always looking for lenders that do table funds so that uh, the seller can get his money at the table and, of course, the buyer can get his keys. Absolutely. Well, I know that uh, we don't talk about a lot, but about disclosures and disclosure laws and... Tell us a little bit about that and when, what are people supposed to disclose and how do they do that? Well, in, uh, in the state of Texas, uh, we are, have quite stringent laws along with California, two of the largest states that have the most stringent uh, real estate laws. And that would include disclosures such as a seller's disclosure, which is currently a five-pager. And uh, water district notice, letting people know that they're in water districts here in the state. And also... Um, the uh, mandatory membership, and uh, numerous others, lead-based paint if the home is older than uh, 1978, I mean younger than 1978. Okay. But uh, I find it a little scary when we uh, have the for sale by owners because it really concerns me about the disclosure laws being uh, disclosed to the potential buyers uh, because they are not exempt. Homeowners that are selling their own homes are not exempt from those disclosures. Exactly. Unless you have a realtor, you don't you don't know what you're what you're getting involved with. So always uh, you know, approach it at arm's length when you're about to buy a home from from a seller direct without a real estate agent involved. You need representation. That's how you know you're 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 going to be safe. That a realtor has to prescribe to a uh, subscribe to a code of ethics. And not all real estate agents are realtors too. I mean, we have to make that statement every so often on the show that. Not every real estate agent is a realtor. That is that correct. correct. Sometimes they use that too, uh, too broad a term for all, all real estate agents are realtors that are not. Those are members of the HAR board, Youth Association of Realtors, and subscribe to that code of ethics. So to take care of the customer first and be up front and make sure they, uh, they are taken care of first and foremost. Now, we talked a little about title insurance on, on this show before. Tell me... Uh, Tell me how important title insurance is and how you help them make sure they've got the best title policy. Well, again, there's numerous title companies to choose from here in Houston, and um, uh, we are a title company state, which means that, um, uh, you know, when I came from Oklahoma uh, as a realtor there, it, was a, it wasn't a title company state. It was an abstract of title, which is nothing more than taking the chain of title and having a, an opinion, an attorney's opinion of title, Whereas there could be a forgery or some heir that was not notified in the past of a, a previous sale. Uh, here, the title company would uh, insure that title, in which case, uh, if the new buyer was, uh, his title was challenged in the court of law, the title company would go to bat for you and go to court for you to protect your title. And this is another thing. It's about making sure that uh, your realtor has great uh, connections and the great team of affiliates they work with from title the mortgage to inspectors and appraisers and it's the it's those that uh, 
that you know you get an entire team effort. A lot of people think it's just a real estate, two real estate agents and a title company and a mortgage guy. And there's a, we counted, didn't we count it? Like 27 different people involved in a real estate transaction and make sure if you use the right realtor that they have the right team to assist you in all of your real estate needs. But tell, uh, Sandy, a bit of remain, tell me what you enjoy about your, your business the most. What do you enjoy doing the most in real estate? I actually just like helping people, um, as sellers, uh, again, to fulfill their dream and selling their property, uh, I, and buyers, again, to help them locate the home of their dreams. So um, you really do need to like the business because, in my, in my opinion, if you're doing 24-7, um, you really need to like it. Absolutely, and that's why you're so good at it. So tell us your email address and, uh, and contact number. Uh, my email address is homes with an S, at Sandy Lane, with the L-A-I-N-E dot com. Website, sandylane.com. Great. We'll be back with more great information on Houston Real Estate today, so don't you go away. We'll be right back.